We are going to take a two digit number and divide it by a one digit number using concrete models with manipulatives of equal groups. With division, you start with the total or the dividend and you're dividing it by the divisor or number of groups or number in each group. So when students are first learning division, you want to use that language of the number of groups that you have or the number that goes in each group. This connects, helps make a connection to multiplication. If you have a story problem or a word problem where it gives you the context that the six is the number of groups or the six is the number in each group, you can represent it based off the story problem. Here we just have an expression, so we can represent the six as the number of groups or the number in each group. Let me show you how. So if I have 18, I'm going to take 18 of these pom-poms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have 18 pom-poms and we're gonna divide them or share them into six groups. So I'm gonna take my cups. I'm gonna take six of them to represent six groups. And then I'm gonna take these pom-poms and share them equally among the six groups. So one, one, each cup gets one pom-pom. Okay, I still have more, so each cup is going to get two pom-poms. I have more, so let's see if there's enough for each cup to get three pom-poms. There you go. So you want to specify with students here that there should be an equal amount in each of our groups. So we took 18 pom-poms and divided them equally into six groups. Now, if you wanted to represent that six as the number in each group and we were missing the number of groups, that would look a little bit different. So I'm going to dump these pom-poms out. We know that they're 18. So this time we don't know how many groups that we have, but we know that six pom-poms are gonna go in each group. So I would count out six, four, five, six. So I know that's one group because six goes in each group. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's another group. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. That's another group. So I can see that I took 18 pom-poms and I took six to place in each group. So that gives me three equal groups. So 18 divided by six equals three. We took a two-digit number, divided it by one-digit number with using a concrete model with manipulatives to represent equal groups.